now a degree a skunk 2 gen 1 pro 3 cam we will talk about the differences on each generation cam and also on a b20 vtech or as gen 3 ycp and also talk about the effects of advancing or retarding the cam and what it does to the load center and also the exhaust of course and how it changes it and how to reach the required load center to properly set the cam we're going to take you guys on how we calculate it or how to calculate it and get to the right numbers this way you get to the right cam degree settings and make power and of course safely <laughs> Okay, first things first, since my personal Facebook account has been hacked, I don't have access to the SRD Motorsports page, so just hit us up on my Instagram here, and we'll get to you with any questions you have, and of course, like and follow the Instagram. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry, link will be in the description below, so do this after you watch. All right, now, prior we have checked the valve-to-valve -valve clearances, and to get the 0 0.040 clearance, we set the intake into for to zero and the exhaust up to plus six advance. That's where we got the 0 0.040 valve to valve clearance. Anything less than that, it was dangerous. We will start here when we degree this. Let's go. Now let's start with the intake. Let's go start turning the engine. Naturally, the exhaust activity will start first, but for now, we decide we check on the intake. This way it's less confusing. All right keep going okay here look at watch the intake dial gauge there's moving we stop at 0 0.050 you can actually stop at 0 0.040 it'll still be the same because this lobe center will still be the same i just you know i just do this to 0 0.050 let's look at it close let's focus the phone come on come on there you go and then here it will focus again okay it's 33 before top dead center all right now let's write it but first of all let's do this how i do it so we write the opening and the closing of the intake it's before top dead center btdc and then abdc that's the closing i do this this way i just have to write the numbers after it's easier now let's go to the exhaust which is Naturally, at plus six advance, it's before bottom dead center, BBDC, and then the closing is ATDC, after top dead center. All right, now let's write the opening. It was 33 before top dead center. There you go. Now let's go back to the stand. Okay, we continue. So one, two, three four okay one full turn is 0.1 lift so now you know it's going to be maximum lift and then you count backwards this way you don't get lost four three two one okay now we gotta do it closely or slowly to get to stop at 0 0.050 that's why i count one full turn that's 0.1 that's why this way you're sh you don't go overshooting it Okay, we stop here. Come on, come on. We have to be exact at 0 0.050. Okay, there you go. It's 0 0.050. All right. And one, two, three, 53 degrees after bottom dead center. All right, let's go to the desk. Okay, now here is 53 after bottom dead center. A, B, D, C. All right, now let's go to the exhaust. Let's go back to the engine stand. All right, now we turn this. Here's the exhaust. We look at the dial gauge on the exhaust. We keep going. Come on. Okay, wait. I'm fixing my the power handle, the extension. Wait up. We keep going, and then we stop at 0 0.050. All right, there. Okay. Come on, come on. Adjust it again. Come on, let's go. There, we stop at 0 0.050. Okay, there you go. Now, let's unclip the phone and show you guys. Here is 0 0.050, and then this one, two, three. Oh, 
Oh, it's 60. 60 before bottom dead center. So now let's write it here. 60. Now let's go back to the stand. Oh, this is plus 6. All right, let's go, let's go. Now we continue here. And as usual, we count it per full turn. Okay, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now it's going to be maximum lift. And then it's gonna start coming back down. Four. Come on. Three. Two. One. Now it's gonna be the closing. We stop at point zero fifty. Okay, we go do this slowly. Come on, come on. Adjust the handle first. Okay, we stop at point zero fifty. Come on, just just a little bit. Okay, there. Let me unclip the phone and show you guys. How close it is. All right. Come on, come on. There. It's 0 0.050. And let's look at the degree wheel. Oh, it's smack at 30 after top dead center. And now hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the bell notification. This way you're updated whenever we upload good stuff like this. And like the video. Now let's go back to the workbench and write it down. Okay, now we write it. It's 30 after top dead center. So now let's compute this. 33 opening plus 53 closing plus 180 degrees is 266. And then divide by 2 is 133. And if you subtract the smaller number, the opening, it's minus 33. Oh, and that's 100 lobe center. Oh, that's exactly how Skunk 2 suggests it. Okay, now let's go to the exhaust. It's... 60 on the opening and 30 on the close 60 plus 30 plus 180 is 270 and then 270 divided by 2 is 135 minus 30 that's 105 oh this is pretty close because skunk to suggest 104 so it's 100 and 104 but we got 100 and 105 that's pretty close now let me explain something this way it helps you guys even on different camps here when you advance the intake and advance the exhaust the loop center on the intake goes lower but the exhaust goes higher meaning if you advance this plus one the loop center will be less than 100 and then the loop center on the exhaust if you advance it to plus one it's gonna increase the number so let's gonna write this down and let's let me show you guys how it is Let's adjust this, but first we let write all of this the af after bottom dead center, and then the exhaust is gonna be plus seven, and that's gonna be before bottom dead center, and then the closing is after top dead center. Now let's go to the engine stand and adjust the cam gears. Let's go. Okay, now here we have advanced the cam gear. So we start with an intake, which is at zero here, and the exhaust is at plus six. We're going to take it to seven. Let's start with the intake. Okay, now let's loosen up all the bolts. Well, there's only two of them tight, so this way it saves time when we're degreeing. This one here. Okay, now we move, we align the number one here from zero. This way it's advanced one degree. All right, let's go. Let's tap this slowly. There, oh, just a bit more. Come on, come on. A bit more. It's almost there, but it just needs a bit more. It has to be perfectly aligned. Oh, too much. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it's back. Oh, again. Let's go back forward again. Okay, now it's back to almost, but still needs more. Come on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Again. Come on. There, perfect. Okay, now we tighten this and we go to the exhaust. There, hand tight, and now we loosen the exhaust. Come on. So that we can advance this to plus seven. So it's plus one on the intake and plus seven on the exhaust. Advanced, of course, okay? So we're gonna align this. Okay, let's go closer. Okay, now we make sure they're all loose. This way, adjusting is gonna be a lot easier. Sorry, I'm using the engine stand that actually shakes, but all the, the two other engine stands are busy with an engine, of course. Okay, we align number seven here. So this way it's advanced seven from six. Oh, too much once again. Step it back. Come on, come on. Oh, shaking again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. All right.
now it's advanced seven okay now we tighten this all right now I know guys in the US actually know how to do this really well, but the reason I'm showing this extra for the Golden Eagle cam gears is because locally someone told me he gets confused adjusting uh, Golden Eagle cam gears. When I know he's busy with Facebook, come on, this is simple, right? This is how it is. Okay, now turn it, start with the intake. All right, we go with the opening. We start, uh, we stop at 0 0.050. Okay, after the exhaust, okay, now it's gonna start on the intake. Come on, come on. Come on, oh, there. Okay, now we're gonna stop at 0 0.050. Come on, there, all right. Let's unclip the phone and show you guys. Here it is, it's 50 and it's 35, all right. Now let's go to the desk. All right, now onto the intake. The opening on the plus one advance is 35. All right, now let's go back to the engine stand. All right, now as we continue from the 51, two, three, four, now it's gonna be max, max lift, and then going back, we count it backwards. F wait, four, three, two, one okay now we're gonna stop at 50 to be 0 0.050 closing okay let's switch the handle sorry there we stop at 50 slowly slowly all right now let's unclip the phone and show you guys come on here it's 50 oh, wait let's focus oh, wait focus focus there's 50 and here it's 51 after bottom dead center let's go to the desk now and now we write it here, it's 51 after bottom dead center, A, B, D, C. Okay, back to the stand, let's go. Okay, now we go with the exhaust, we turn it, and the easier part is, you know, it starts action first before the intake, so this is going to go right away. Look at the, come on, okay, look at the style gauge on the exhaust. All right, come on. Oh, there it's moving okay we stop at 50 therefore it's 0 0.050 opening okay it's getting close come on there okay let's unclip the phone let me show you guys okay it's 50 so now let's go to the degree wheel okay 63 before bottom dead center okay now we'll write it down the opening is 63 bbdc all right now let's go continue to the engine stand okay now let's continue one two three four on the lift that's gonna be peak lift and back down four come on come on three two one okay now we're gonna stop at 0 0.050 or at 50 this way is 0 0.050 of the closing come on oh it's still not exact come on come on we start tapping a bit come on come on getting close all right now we can unclick the phone and show you guys come on there it's 50 and it's Oh, 27 degrees after top dead center. Let's go to the desk. All right, now we'll write it down before we compute it all together. So it's 27 after top dead center. All right, now we compute it. It's 35 plus 51 plus 180, which is 266 duration. 266 divided by 2 is 133 minus 35. Ah, oh, it's 98 degrees lobe center onto the exhaust now is 63 plus 27 plus 180 that's 270 270 divided by 2 minus is it 135 minus 27 that's 108 okay now you can see we advanced the intake the lobe center went lower went 98 right it was 100 but on the exhaust it was 105 lobe center at, at plus 6 when it went to plus 7 it became 180 or 108 sorry sorry 
So it went up. And the reason why I show you this is because even when you degree, let's say, a crower cams, you can preset or go start with the safe one with, after checking valve to valve, of course. And whatever you see on the initial setting, like on the zero, if you're too low or too high, you know how to advance it on the intake or exhaust or retard. Now you know what to do, right? And we hope this is an even more complete how to degree video better than the one we did last year or slightly more than a year ago. We will have the link on that on the end screen after this video. But at least now you get more ideas and this time you can actually pull off the degreeing, understanding it for you, for yourself. And now we're going to show you how we lock the VTEC on the rockers. Here we are. Now with a rag under it, cause, cause you can see it so that you can see it better. So there's contrast. Okay, let's look, let's remove the VTEC pin of the center rock arm, the VTEC rock arm, and the shorter pin on the primary or the secondary, whichever you want to say and call it. Try to remove it, come on, come on. Okay, there. Okay, I learned this from my colleague. Because some just, you know, they block, they put a spacer on the primary. This way it pushes out, including the VTEC pin on the center. It pushes it out and then locks the other side of the primary, right? But I learned from my colleague what he does, and it's actually a lot easier, is you put the long, longer VTEC pin onto the primary. This way it's sticking out, right? Now you put the... VTEC rocker, you can see it's sticking out. You put the VTEC rocker, now you put a spacer there, then you put the shorter pin. This way it sticks out and it won't really fall and all that. So when you install it on the rocker shafting, it's easier, right? And plus, if you use, let's say, a cardboard or a piece of cloth or whatever, when you take off the pin on the primary, you don't have to like scoop it out from that because the on the v or VTEC rocker arm on the center, when you remove the pin, when you remove the pin, it just falls off right away. So easy, all right? Now there, okay. Now on the end screen, we have the first or the earlier version and it also entice you to binge watch on all the videos, all the technical videos that we did, like clicking it right here.